today from Jonah chapter 3. Jonah is in the Bible. Uh, Jonah goes to Nineveh. Nineveh is a wicked city and God sent the prophet Jonah to go there and preach, prophesy to them. This is now the word. Jonah chapter 3 verse 1. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was a very important city. Now Nineveh was a very important city. For destroying those who destroy visit required three days. You have to walk three days to get to the end of the city from one side to another. That's how large the city of Nineveh was. It required three days journey. We are in London. For example, you start walking from Croydon to Baker Street to Wembley. About three days. On the first day, Jonah started into the city. He proclaimed the word, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. Jonah entered the city and he began to scream aloud, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. The Ninevites, the people of Nineveh, believed God. They declared a fast. And all of them, from the greatest to the least, uh, put on sackcloth. All the people of Nineveh, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth, they declare a fast when they heard the evangelist saying God has sent him to tell the people of Nineveh, that wicked city, that God had given them 40 more days and the city of Nineveh will be overthrown. So the people of the, the city heard the word of God and they declared a fast, they put on sackcloth. In repentance when the news reached the king of Nineveh he arose from his throne he took off his royal robes the king of Nineveh got up from his throne he took off his royal robes covered himself with sackcloth and sat down in the dust. Now this is the king. I want you to picture the king of Nineveh. He took off his royal robe. He put on sackcloth. He took dust and ashes. He put it dust and ashes in his head in repentance because the evangelist has preached that 
40 more days, go and destroy the city. We give thanks to you. the city. So the king fasted. The king, when the news reached the king of Nineveh, he took from, he, he, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. Then he issued a proclamation in Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles. Do not let any man or beast, herd or flock, taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink. But let them let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. Let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. They should not eat no food. They should not drink no water for three days. They should fast. Because God is angry with Nineveh. We are in London, England. Uh, England is going through a transition period. We are had but four prime ministers, three prime ministers in one month. So that's a concern for England. The king proclaimed a fast. Let nobody eat, let no man, even their pet, their dog, their cat, their animals should not eat. The men and the women should not eat. The noble men, the house of lords, the house of parliament, they, they all fasted, they took on their royal clothes, they put on sackcloth, they put ashes on their head, and they sat down in the dust. Even the king was sitting in the dust. The king of Nineveh. White women, that's why I'm single. My wife is a black woman. She's beautiful and I love her. My wife is a black woman. African queen. She's lovely and beautiful, and I love her. Hey! Praise the Lord, oh my soul, and all my inmost being. He said, Let nobody eat, let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and let and their violence. Let England give up its evil ways and England give up its violence. Who knows? God may yet relent with compassion torn from his fierce anger so that Nineveh will not perish. The king recognized that his nation is a racist country. They are violent to ethnic minorities. They are evil. Lambeth Council is evil. They, they bring bastard children to disrupt our meeting when we go out to preach at Brixton. We we'll go out to preach even when I go to the hospital, St. Guy's Hospital. They bring bastard children to follow me. I'm going in the elevator. This is the wickedness of England. And God is telling the British government, you have 40 days to clean up your act. You must stop your violence. You must stop your wickedness. More especially against Christians, innocent people who have done nothing to you. 
you traumatize them daily. The judgment of God is coming upon England. And God is saying, turn away from He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue of us go back. Jesus Christ is Lord. To God's gates with praise. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving and His court with praise. And give thanks, give thanks to the Lord and pray. His holy name. For the Lord is good and His love endures forever. Let the people of England give up their evil ways and their violence. God may relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger so that Nineveh will not perish. Repent. How do you get saved? Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, that Jesus Christ is Lord and God. Excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is Jesus. Oh Lord my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Hi, I'm Andrew Lume, the most powerful human being in London, England. Today I'm here um, at Tower Bridge behind me there. I saw German bridge was built by the Germans. That bridge in 1800 during the Victorian era. That's one of the architecture of uh, King Albert, Queen Victoria's husband. I'm just here to read some scriptures to you today. The Bible says, with great power, the apostles proclaim the resurrection of Jesus, and much grace was upon them all. Much grace. Um, here. Yeah. This morning I read that Jesus passed through Jericho. He saw two blind men sitting by the roadside and they asked the question, what's going on? It says, Jesus of Nazareth is passing through. Jesus of Nazareth is passing through. The blind men began to shout, Jesus of Nazareth, son of King David, heal us. Jesus of Nazareth, son of King David, heal us. So the people told him, be quiet, be quiet. And he started shouting them all, Jesus Christ, son of, Na son of King David, have mercy on me. Jesus Christ, son of King David, have mercy on me. 
And the Bible says, Jesus heard the man crying. He said, Jesus said to them, bring him here. First, they told, they told him to be quiet. He was crying, Jesus, son of King David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of King David, have mercy on me. And the people told him to be quiet. Is it? But he kept shouting louder. Jesus heard him shouting, he said, bring the blind man here. He asked the blind man, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said, I want to see. And Jesus said, do you believe that I can heal you of your blindness? He said, yes. And Jesus said, be healed from your blindness according to your faith, let it be unto you. And the blind man was healed. That's the miracle. The blind man, you can zoom by. The blind man was instantly healed from blindness. And he followed Jesus. He, he followed Jesus and became a believer. Today I'm here. Thank you very much. Yeah. What's what, what, What's your name? What you doing here? I'm Shabazz. Uh, I'm here. I'm just here to sightsee. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Thank yes, you very God much. God bless you. Where are you from? Camera. I'm from South London. South London. Yeah. Okay. I've okay, been okay. anointed to be the first black prime minister of England. And these are my campaign videos. Well, you're gonna do better than everyone in charge anyway. So. Thank you. Team, All right. Thank you. God bless. That there is the Belfast boat. And that's the city of London there. The Belfast boat and the city of London. It's a very good boat. Um, I've done a lot of fishing now. I'll be going back to South London. God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, little man, evangelist. God has ordained me to be the first black prime minister of England. And these are my campaign videos. Somebody has just endorsed my. Uh, campaign. So I thank God. Jesus is Lord. You have granted me my heart's desire and have not with hell the request of my lips you welcome me with rich blessings you place a crown of your gold on my I ask you for a bond in life And you give it to me Land of days forever and ever Through the victory Spread. 